Hello, how to solve for x and y in this algebra equation? x plus y is equal to 20, x y is equal to 20. Now, x plus y is equal to 20. Let's call this equation 1. And then x y is equal to 20. Let's call this equation 2. From equation 1, we can make y the subject of the formula. That is, y is equal to 20 minus x. Let's call this equation 3. Then let's substitute this equation 3 into equation 2. That is, s bracket y is 20 minus s. We have 20 minus s is equal to 20. Then let's open the bracket. s times 20. This is 20 x minus s times s s square is equal to 20 then we have 20 x minus s square if you take this to this side minus 20 is equal to zero we can rearrange this by multiply all through by minus one we have s square then minus 20x plus 20 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation which can be solved using quadratic general formula. Here, quadratic general formula is giving us s is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 ac over 2a then where a from this equation is 1 b is equal to minus 20 and then c is equal to 20 let's substitute this then s is equal to minus bracket minus 20 plus or minus square root of minus 20 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 20 which is c all over 2 multiplied by 1 s is equal to minus times minus 20. This is 20 plus or minus square root of minus 20 square. This is 400 minus 4 times 1 times 20. That is 80 over 2 multiplied by 1, 2. Then S is equal to 20 plus or minus square root of 400 minus 80. This is 320 over 2. S is equal to 20 plus or minus square root of 320 can be written as 64 multiplied by 5 over 2. That is, if you have 320, now let's divide by 2. 2 here, 2 in 3, 1 in 12, 6, then 0, 2 in 160, 16. We have 80, 2, 2 in 80, that is 40, 2, 2 in 40, that is 20, then 2, 2 in 20. 10 and 2 in 10 5 here we have 5 2 times 2 4 4 times 2 8 8 times 2 16 60 times 2 32 32 times 2 that is 64 and we know that 64 is 8 square then multiply by 5 it will give you 320 so that's how we get this value then s is equal to 20 plus or minus square root of 64 that is 8 
root 5 over 2. Now s is equal to 20 over 2 plus or minus 8 over 2 root 5. Now 2 year 1, 2 year 10, 2 year 1, 2 year 4. S is equal to 10 plus or minus 4 root 5. Therefore, our final answer for S are S1 is equal to 10 plus 4 root 5 or S2 is equal to 10 minus 4 root 5. We've gotten the value of x. Now we can solve for y using equation 3. From equation 3, that from equation 3, y is equal to 20 minus s. Then we know when s1 is equal to 10 plus 4 root 5, the y will be equal to 20 minus 10 plus 4 root 5. Y is equal to 20 minus, if you open the bracket, minus times 10. 10, then minus times plus 4 root 5. This is minus 4 root 5. Y is equal to 20 minus 10. This is 10 minus 4 root 5. Let's call this y1. Also, when s2 is equal to 10 minus 4 root 5, we have y2 is equal to 20 minus s2, then y2 will be equal to 20 minus S3 is 10 minus 4 root 5. 10 minus 4 root 5. Y2 is equal to 20 minus 10 plus 4 root 5. Now Y. 2 is equal to 20 minus 10 plus 4 root 5. This is 10 plus 4 root 5. This is y2. Therefore, therefore, s1 comma y1 is equal to 10 plus 4 root 5 comma 10 minus 4 root 5 and then s2 comma y2 is equal to 10 minus 4 root 5 comma 10 plus 4 root 5 so this is the final answer we can check to confirm if this answer is right or wrong let's check to check, we have the given equation s plus y is equal to 20, then and then s y is equal to 20. Let's check for s1, y1 using equation 1. Then from equation 1, when s y is equal to 10 plus 4 root 5 and y y is equal to 10 minus 4 root 5, we have 10 plus 4 root 5 then plus y1 10 minus 4 root 5 must be equal to 20 now this we cancel this we have 10 plus 10 must be equal to 20 then 10 plus 10 this is 20 is equal to 20 which is true now also let's check for s2 y2 
using equation 2. Equation 2 is sy is equal to 20. Now from equation 2, that is sy is equal to 20. Now we have s2, this is 10 minus 4 root 5. Then multiply by y is 10 plus 4 root 5 must be equal to 20. Now let's open bracket. 10 times 10, that is 100 plus 10 times 4 root 5. This is 40 root 5 minus 4 times 4 root 5 times 10. This is 40 root 5 then minus 4 times 4 this is 16 times root 5 times root 5 this is 16 multiply by 5 here is 100 this we cancel this minus 60 times 5 that is 80 must be equal to 20 100 minus 80, this is 20, is equal to 20, which is also true. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.